Have you ever wondered how the internet magically shows up on your phone, computer, or smart TV? Most of us take it for granted, but behind the scenes, there's a fascinating system at work. Internet service providers, or ISPs, are the key players in delivering the internet data we rely on every day. But how do they do it? How is this data created, transmitted, and managed? Today, we'll take a deep dive into the journey of internet data. Let's break it down step by step. Let's start with the basics. What exactly do ISPs do? ISPs are companies like AT&T, Comcast, Airtel, or Geo that provide you with access to the internet. They don't create the internet itself. Instead, they act as intermediaries between you and the massive global network of servers, data centers, and cables that make up the internet. Think of it like a water supply system. The global internet is the reservoir, and ISPs are the pipelines that deliver the water, or in this case, data. To understand how ISPs work, we need to start with the internet backbone. This is the core infrastructure of the internet a network of ultra-high-speed fiber optic cables spanning continents and oceans. These cables are owned and maintained by large telecommunications companies, governments, or consortiums of organizations. ISPs connect to this backbone by leasing bandwidth. Essentially, they're renting a piece of the global internet infrastructure to use as their own supply line. Once connected to the backbone, ISPs route data from these massive networks into their own systems. This is where the journey of internet data begins. Once ISPs have access to the internet backbone, they build their own regional networks to distribute the data locally. Here's how they do it. Data centers. These are the ISPs central hubs. Data from the backbone is processed and stored here. Think of them as warehouses for internet data, managing everything from streaming videos to simple web pages. Fiber optic cables. These cables connect the data centers to local areas, ensuring high-speed transmission of data. Local nodes. These are like neighborhood distribution points. They help ISPs deliver data to specific homes, offices, or businesses. For example, when you're streaming your favorite Netflix show, the video data might be cached or temporarily stored at a nearby data center, ensuring faster delivery without buffering. Now here's a question, how does the data actually get to your device? This is where routing comes into play. When you type a URL into your browser, like www.youtube.com, your request is sent to your ISP. They figure out which server has the data you're looking for and route your request there. Once the data is retrieved, it's sent back to your device, often in just a fraction of a second. But there's more. ISPs also handle traffic management. Think about rush hour traffic on the roads, it's chaotic. The same thing can happen with internet traffic. ISPs prioritize certain types of data, like video streams or online gaming, to ensure you get a smooth experience. The final step is bringing data into your home or device. ISPs use different methods depending on the type of connection you have. Fiber optic or copper cables for wired broadband connections. Cell towers for mobile internet and 5G networks. Wi-Fi routers for distributing the internet within your home or office. Every time you stream a video, play an online game, or attend a virtual meeting, your device sends and receives thousands of tiny data packets through these systems. The ISP makes sure these packets travel quickly and reliably, even during peak usage times. But delivering internet data isn't without challenges. ISPs face several hurdles, such as infrastructure costs. Building and maintaining networks is expensive, especially with the rising demand for faster speeds and higher bandwidth. Data caps and throttling. 
to manage limited resources, some ISPs impose data limits or slow down speeds during peak times. So, while ISPs don't create internet data in the literal sense, they play a crucial role in generating, managing, and delivering it to us. They're the unsung heroes, ensuring we can connect to the world at the click of a button. Next time you stream a video or scroll through social media, take a moment to appreciate the complex network of cables, data centers, and technology working behind the scenes. If you found this video interesting, hit the like button, subscribe for more tech breakdowns, and let me know in the comments what topic you'd like to explore next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.